here we are without a real drum set, but uh, I found a, a cool way to simulate the possibilities of a real hi-hat on the MPC. What's up? This is Marcello. If you're interested in MPC tutorials just like this one, consider subscribing. Also, if this is of any help to you, leave a like in the comment and hit the bell so you don't miss any uh, future tutorials. Let's dive in. Imagine a drummer playing the hi-hat. Uh, the first hit will be louder most of the time than the second one. So because the first hit is made with his arm moving down and the second one is made with his arm moving up. So in most cases, the first hit will sound fuller and more open and of course louder. And the second one will sound tighter and quieter. Of course, that also depends on uh, how much weight you put on the foot pedal, but in most cases it will behave like that. So the first hit will be louder, then the second one a little quieter, then louder again. So something like that. All right, I loaded up a hi-hat on track one. And on bank B, this is bank A and bank B, we get another one. And then on track two, we got kick. Three different kicks and uh, three different snares. All right, normally I play the hi-hat using 16 levels velocity. So, you know, uh, to simulate those small velocity changes but you can hear the sound remains the same. It's just getting quieter. Um, so let's jump into a more uh, realistic approach today. For that, let's copy the hi-hat, this one, a couple of times. But first, let's just lay down a, a simple pattern with the kick and the snare. For that, let's go to track two, kick, snare. Let's set the BPM to 90. Let's take those. Let's play a, a simple pattern. Let's just add a second kick with 16 levels filter and timing correct turned off. Okay. Timing correct back on. All right, now let's go to our hi-hat to this one. And let's um, go to program edit. As you can see here, the BPM sync is on, turn it off, turn on warp. And now let's copy this one four times or three times. So we got four, hold copy, press the pad you want to copy and then press the pads uh, that you want to copy it to. So now we got it four times. Um, and now, so think of this one as our first hit with the most impact. And this one will be our second hit. So going up um, and let's make this one a little shorter. So let's stretch. We are on stretch and let's just make it maybe 80% instead of 100%. As you can hear, it gets, it gets shorter the lower we go and the longer, the more percent we add, the longer it gets. So, but we want to have it a little shorter. You can hear a difference. This is very obvious. Maybe let's make it 55%. Now let's move to this one. Let's make it a little shorter, you know, just, it has 
it still has a lot of impact but it's a little shorter than the first one just to vary and the fourth one let's make this one the shortest or maybe a little longer all right so we got this um now i want an open hi-hat but I, I want to i want to still use this one so let's copy this hi-hat to here and let's just increase the stretch so let's just make it 400 percent So as you can hear in, in context, it sounds um, not bad. On its own, it's, it sounds a little warpy, but it's um, it's not bad, I, I think. So now um, let's go to pad mix, double tap track mix, and let's just lower the volume of those of those of the two and the four. So as you can hear, we got a little um, variation going on now. Um, back to program edits. I want to add something else. Let's go to envelopes and let's soften the attack on on the on the second and the fourth hit a little. So, and envelope a little just. Okay, now let's um, just record simple pattern over the beat we got. I could just turn the timing correct off, but let's just leave it on. And after I'm going to shift all those hi-hats a little back, uh, just, you know, to make it more laid back. Okay, now let's go to this one, edit zones, it's over here, and let's choose multiple, let's choose all the hi-hats we want to affect, so all four, all five, close. Now it will edit all of those pads at once. Let's go to samples page and let's go to the offset, so samples and then three times on the samples. So here we can just delay the triggering of uh, the hi-hat. I like that. I don't like the kick that much. Let's just put a filter on the kick, maybe a, a high, a, a low pass filter. But before we have to go to edit zones again and just choose current because we don't want to affect the snare and all of those other paths we just want to affect the kick now there will be uh tiny variations in in, in in the in the play of a real drummer so it doesn't harm to put them into your beat, especially if you want the beat to be a little, yeah, have a human feel to it. All right, now let's try the same thing with a different groove. So let's go to sequence three and let's just choose the hi-hat for track one and for track two, let's choose kick and snare. So let's um, yeah start with the kick and snare. Let's take those two. Let's leave it at maybe 124, and let's just make a simple pattern. Okay. 
All right, now let's add some height to this one. But bank B, and let's take this height. Let's see if, if we can pull this off with this height as well, so with a different sample. So let's copy, or let's go to program edit again uh, first, turn off BPM sync, turn on warp, and let's copy it four times. And let's just maybe second one, let's make it 76. This one, let's make it 97. And the fourth one, let's make it 71. And now let's go to pad mix, turn down the second and the fourth. It's a tiny difference, but you can you can feel it. Let's make an open Hyatt, copy this one to this one, program edit again, let's make it, let's stretch it. And you can do all kinds of uh, fun things, for example, reverse it. Let's just soften the attack on this one and on this one. Okay. Let's play uh, this groove. Let's play some high rolls, shift, note repeat. Let's play them with the uh, quieter pads. Now, if you want, you can just move the height to the back a little. So track mix and let's just put a reverb on the whole hi hat uh, program. That's also a cool thing for the hi hat, maybe. How does that sound with the first beat? So, so you can still just uh, tweak those sounds um, while the beat is going. Just try, for example, how does it sound if you reverse this one? With this one. Another good way to vary the hi-hats is back to the human, to the first sequence. If you play with the fine tune, for example, if you think the, the drummer, he, he hits the, the hi-hat and the sound will be a little higher, really tiny bit higher, if he hits harder. So, so if you lower the third and the, uh, the, the second and the fourth, a little bit, just, it's not even one semitone, so. Make the open height a little higher. So 
So the impact of a hi hat hit or a snare hit or a kick hit, any hit can can be shown through level, uh, pitch, and and the transients. So how how hard is the attack? How soft is the attack? This way you can show, okay, in, in this hit, the drummer is not hitting that hard. So if you soften the attack, for example, a little lower, or if you make the pitch a little lower. So you can't really make the attack harder in program edit, but there's a way if you want to have a harder attack on this hit, for example, pad mix, and then go to this pad and um, add dynamics and add air transient. An air transient, here you can just make the attack harder or softer. All right now, so we learned a pretty cool way to achieve that uh, human feel uh, that creates a certain groove. Of course, there are more ways uh, to do that on the MPC. Watch this video to learn about uh, five easy ways to get more bounce in your beats. I'll see you over there. Peace.